Hello, good day. We have come a long way in learning about asset pricing models. So far, our journey has brought us CAPM and arbitrage pricing theory. Today, I'm going to introduce to you another asset pricing model known as Pharma French Three Factor Model. This model was introduced in 1993 and is still dominating empirical research and industry application. What is a three-factor model? Let's find out further. Farmer and French laid the basis for a multi-index model based on firm characteristic in an academic journal published in 1993. The title of the journal is Common Risk Factors in the Returns on Stocks and Bonds, published in Journal of Financial Economics. Well, this photo shows my collection of the article at home. I encourage you to search for the original article and read to broaden your knowledge. The Farmer French three-factor model is a type of APT model that incorporates company-specific attributes. Firm characteristics are found to be sources of systematic risk and seems to predict average returns well. Until today, data for the Pharma French factors are available on Kenneth Fram website at Dalmau College. You can search the internet and take a look. The Pharma and French three-factor model is extended from the arbitrage pricing theory. In general, Pharma and French identify three factors that appear to determine expected returns. The factors are market factor, size factor, and book to market ratio. How is the research conducted? Pharma and French examine the behavior of a broad sample of stocks grouped into quintile portfolios by their price to earning ratios on a yearly basis over the period from July 1963 to December 1991. The two firm characteristics are chosen because of long-standing observation that corporate capitalization and book-to-market ratio seem to be able to predict deviations of average stock returns. This slide presents an overview of the three-factor model. The Pharma French three-factor model can be expressed as follows. SMB stands for small minus big. This is the return of portfolio of small stocks in excess of the return on a portfolio of large stocks. HML stands for high minus low. HML is calculated from the return of a portfolio of stocks with a high book-to-market ratio minus the return on a portfolio of stock with a low book-to-market ratio. SMB captures element of risk associated with firm size. On the other hand, HML distinguishes risk differentials associated with growth and value stock. Growth stocks normally have low book-to-market ratio, whereas value stocks have high book-to-market ratio. The coefficient beta is the beta of the stocks on each of the three factors, often called the factor loadings. The formula can also be expressed as risk premium, which is return minus risk-free rate. Here is the formula. Let's understand the key findings of Pharma and French. The question is, are the three factors significant in explaining stock returns? The answer is yes. Market return, size, and book-to-market ratio are found to have a strong influence on average return of common stocks. Instead, adding the size and book-to-market ratio increase the explanatory power of the model. This is evidence from R-square. 
R square increases from 0 0.69 to 0 0.83 when all three variables are included. How is the relationship between the three explanatory variables and stock return? The cross-section of average return is negatively related to size and positively related to book-to-market ratio. Pharma and French provide explanation that firms with high book-to-market ratio are more likely to be in financial distress. In addition, small firms may be more sensitive to changes in business conditions. Small firms and firms with low book-to-market ratio are riskier than other firms. Thus, these variables may capture sensitivity to risk factors in the macroeconomy. Let's have a quick exercise to see how far you understand about pharma French three-factor model. Fill in the three independent variables and dependent variables. Here is the answer. Thank you. I hope you can understand this session. See you and goodbye.